With our busy lifestyles, it can be hard to eat a well-rounded diet with plenty of vitamins. We might not even know what well-rounded really means. To help us sort it out, we're joined by Bonnie Brost, a dietitian with the Essentia Health Heart and Vascular Center. And thank you very much for joining us, Bonnie. Glad to be here. So the doctors say we probably don't need a multivitamin if we have a good, balanced diet. How do we know if we're doing that? Um, well, first, numerous studies have showed that we don't probably need a multivitamin because they haven't showed a benefit for health, although it's safe to take one. Um, but as Rich um, indicated, some can be toxic, as the vitamin E studies have shown. But what's really important, I think, to understand is that besides vitamins and minerals, there's a lot of other good things in food called phytonutrients and antioxidants. So by getting a well-rounded diet, you include those. And we get a well-rounded diet, whether we take a multivitamin or not, by taking about four and a half cups of fruits and or vegetables or beans a day, plus about two servings of low-fat dairy, five to six ounces of lean protein, some whole grains, as well as a few nuts through a week are really important to get that magnesium we need, which a lot of us are deficient in magnesium intake. Certainly, and some people might say, oh, nuts, they have a lot of fat in them. Right, they have been on the avoid list for years, but they are high in the good fat, and we're often too low in the good fat, and the good fat can actually help us absorb those phytonutrients and those vitamins and minerals better. So a little bit of nuts and peanut butter through the week, wonderful mm -hmm. idea. Do you have any suggestions for adding these nutrition-rich foods, or I like to say nutrition-dense foods, to our diets? Um, bright color fruits and vegetables, your broccoli, your tomatoes, your oranges, um, are wonderful ways to get um, the, the phytonutrients you need and the vitamins and minerals. So eat with color. In fact, the March is National Nutrition Month coming up, and the theme for that is eat right with color. So just more color in your diet is a terrific way to get more vitamins and minerals. And adding those fruits and veggies. And speaking of that, sometimes it's a matter of finding a great recipe for a vitamin-rich meal. Here's Bonnie's minestrone soup. We chose this recipe because it's full of vegetables and a lot of these vegetables are high in the, those phytochemicals that are so important. We start with about two tablespoons of olive oil and I'm using a large stock pot and it's at about a medium high heat right now. To the olive oil we're going to add um, three cloves of garlic that could be minced or you can use the garlic in the jar. I'm going to do about a teaspoon and a half. The high monounsaturated fat oils like olive oil and canola oil can actually help you absorb and utilize your vitamins, minerals, and phytochemicals a lot better in the body. We're going to add one and a half cups of chopped onion. Saute that a couple of minutes and then we'll add our next ingredients. So now we have one and a half cups of chopped celery, and I actually shredded five carrots. So I'm going to add that to the pot and continue to saute those veggies. I'm going to add two cans of the no salt added tomato sauce. Also to that, I'm adding some no salt added diced tomatoes, and I actually picked up a can of fire roasted that sounded like it would go very well with the minestrone soup. The thing with tomatoes and nutrients, they've got a lot of vitamin A, some vitamin C, but they're loaded with a phytonutrient called lycopene. But lycopene probably doesn't work the best in a pill. It works the best when it's in the natural foods it's found in because it's got to work together with other nutrients in there. Our next um, ingredient into this is going to be an unsalted vegetable stock. You use about four cups, which is what is in one of these boxes. We'll stir that broth in, and then we're going to add a half a cup of red wine. And then the recipe calls for two cups of water. And then we'll turn up the heat a little bit and get this to a rolling boil. We've got our soup at a boil now, so actually I'm going to just reduce the heat just slightly and add the rest of the ingredients. And we have um, a one teaspoon of oregano in this bowl, two teaspoons of basil. And then I put in one teaspoon of this pasta and Pizza Magic by Chef Paul Prudhomme. It's sodium free and a delightful flavor. And then in addition to that, to the original recipe, I'm adding a half a teaspoon of turmeric. The advantage of using turmeric is it's one of the um, most potent anti-inflammatory agents we have around. And it actually can kill cancer cells. So from here, I'm just going to add the spices into the soup. And then we're also going to be adding one can of kidney beans and one can of white beans. And beans are wonderful for the soluble fiber you find in them, helps with cholesterol, and they're also very high in magnesium, which is a nutrient that we often don't get enough of. And the next ingredient is actually um, two 
small to medium zucchini that I've chopped up and that's going to be now added. I recommend using whole wheat pasta because it has three times the magnesium that white pasta does and it has twice the B vitamins that white pasta does. And the final ingredient I'm going to put in is two cups of baby spinach. Again, another food that's loaded with nutrition. It's high in the lutein, which is another phytochemical, as well as it's high in vitamin K. And we need vitamin K to stuff that calcium into our bones. Simmer for 45 minutes to an hour. You get about half your day's worth of vitamin C. You get almost your full day's worth of vitamin A in it. It's also high in the soluble fiber. You've got 100% of your lycopene that you, they recommend for a day. So it is loaded.